Welcome to another episode of Banking Creek Fishing. I'm out here with my buddy Brent. He's a crappie expert of Oklahoma and he's going to teach us how to catch crappie from the bank in the wintertime. It's wintertime. The crappie are moving up into the creeks. We've got our Bobby Garland baits and our thill floats. Let's go see if we can sink some. And guys, this is such an intricate thing that we're doing here that Brent's teaching me. We're using a fill foam cork, and then we've got a baby shad suspended below it, but you've got to have this thing at the perfect depth. You've got to know what's down there. There's a stump out here on this point we're fishing, and you have to have this thing perfectly set to get right in their face. This part of the creek, they like to be at about six feet, so I know I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, so I just put that bobber right above my head so I know that my, my cork is always at the same height. Now there are places in this creek where they like to be a lot shallower, 18 inches to two feet. So all that is is repetition, being able to come over here and knowing where you're at. So if you don't know where you're at, one of the best things is to just start shallow and go deep or start deep and go shallow. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ha -ha. Yes, that's so much fun. That's another good crop yeah. right there. You know, one thing about these creeks, you don't catch a lot of great big ones. I mean, every now and then you'll catch a real nice one. That's a pretty nice one right there. Yeah. Shoot, yeah. You know, just, those, those things right there, will they will fill up a freezer. Yeah, well, just for walking five minutes from your house, it's pretty cool. And I mean, there's places like this all over the country all that you can find this kind of stuff. And that's the best part is when a creek crosses the road, that creek goes somewhere. There's going to be mm -hmm. a deep part of that creek. Go find it. In the winter time, fall time, go catch those crappie. All right, Brent, I'm not a cork master by any means. Why are we using a weighted cork? Well, we're having to throw a long ways, number one. And so as, as crappie fishing, you want to use the smallest hook you can. Mm -hmm. And if I'm using a, a 16th or a 32nd ounce jig head, yeah. I can't bomb that thing 50 or 60 yeah. feet. So Phil's come out with this weighted cork that's perfectly weighted. I can throw a 16th ounce, a 32nd ounce jig head, and as you see, my, my cork is six feet up, mm -hmm. and I can throw that thing almost all the way across this creek. I actually can throw it all the way across the creek. I just, I just don't want to. There it and is. And I'll just catch one while we're talking about that weighted cork. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get out there. Not a big one, but definitely a crappie. And Brent, we're using under our cork, we're using a jig and a little Bobby Garland baby shed. Tell me about how you got your set up. So what I do is I like to throw braid as my main line and I like to have about a six or eight pound leader. Now in this creek, the water's clear, but it's not super clear. Um, so I don't use a, typically a very long leader. The reason is, is we get hung up a lot, we break off a lot. So I like to have my cork on my braid. So if I break off, I'm gonna break my leader. Usually I don't lose my corks. Here you go. Oh. <sighs> Folks at home, folks at home, he's behind. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just here for the show. You got him. Oh, oh, I got him that time. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, what. <laughs> you take a kid to school, you teach him, and he finally catches one. Oh, now, there's yeah. a better one. That's a better fish yeah, right there. Yeah, that's a solid one, especially yeah. on four pound line. Yeah, Man. Shoot, yeah. And there's days you can come over here and catch. 50 of those like that right there, and you'll mm. catch bigger ones, you'll catch smaller ones, you'll catch bass. But man, the only thing that really matters is you're catching them. It just does not get much more fun than this right here. Man, how are you catching so many like that? Tell me what you're doing with your flow whenever you put it out there. You know, it, it's the cadence. You know, you have, you have to figure out how they want the presentation. Yeah. Do they want it still? Do mm -hmm. they want it fast? Do they want it slow? And if you watch me when I throw out there, Early, I'll start off a little bit faster yep. because you know they're more aggressive in the mornings, mm -hmm. and as maybe the bite slows, I'll slow my retrieve down. Uh, and sometimes I'll just throw it out there and do just a super slow retrieve. Yeah, oh. like that. And speaking See? of that, just asking him, I'm gonna catch a fish. Right. That's a better one too. That's yeah, a good that's one. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's oh, son. Dave. That's that's one of them old uh, yeah. head shakers right there now. <laughs> Come on, buddy. See if this one make a taco. I believe this will make a taco. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, this is what creek and bank fishing is all about. Oh, yeah. Catching the good sized crappie, local to where you live. Find the creek, get the bait, catch the crappie. 